Hello everybody, today is Wednesday. So, <laughs> I did not sleep again last night. God love him, Luke got in the bed with us and just cried and cried all night. So, Charles and I are both beat, but then he um, got up this morning. And when he got up, he just was crying and crying and crying and saying his throat hurts. So we just went to the doctor and he has strep throat. So he is going to have to do antibiotics for the first time ever in his life. He is a knock on wood, never been on any antibiotics or had any major sickness other than he had a lot of issues with the vomiting and constipation and all this other stuff, but never actually sick he's had the flu i think a couple times um but that's it <laughs> that's it a cold so i don't know i'm gonna try we're gonna try and get antibiotics in him if you guys have ideas especially other autism parents um i would love to hear him he will not eat anything but he did say he wouldn't drink anything either. And then they had to swab the back of his throat. And, oh, he screamed and screamed. That was not enjoyable. And then um, he wanted some orange Fanta. So we went through McDonald's and got him a Fanta because he would drink it. And so he drank that much. That's all he's had today. And I don't expect him to eat at all. <laughs> so... Um, I don't know how I'm going to get the medicine in. So that's my big dilemma for today. <clears throat> so let me know if you guys have, like I said, any ideas. I will keep it very short and simple then today because I'm going to be just with him a lot. I know I'm only partly makeup and all of that <laughs> because I also called the doctor and they were like, it was 10 o'clock and they were like, Kelsey, can you be here? Can you be here by 10 15? Like, uh, yeah. We'll make it happen. I'll be there at 10 15. They're 10 minutes down the road. They give me five minutes to get dressed and get him dressed and get us out the door. <laughs> get five minutes. And it's 11 30 now. So I am going to actually go get this bread now. I have so many dishes and stuff to do. Um, sorry, it's awful dark. But I'm going to get this frozen bread dough which you could very much make your own, and I, I'm sure I will from now on, if I'm using what I got, because remember, I gotta get my freezer cleared out this month. So I have two loaves of bread dough, and we are gonna make what my family calls pizza bread. So it's just plain old. This is Rhodes, but you can get Kroger brand, we usually get Meyer brand, whatever brand you want, and I'm gonna let them rise, just set them out, on a pan, cover them, and let them rise just like I do my bread dough. And then we'll roll it out, and you put a layer of cheese and a layer of pepperoni, and then you roll it back up, and you dip it in pizza sauce. Speaking of which, I need to get my spaghetti sauce out too. See, y'all got me thinking. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes. So, and I'm gonna get out some of the homemade sauce because those that don't want to eat the pizza bread will then eat, um, I'll just make spaghetti noodles. And I'd say I'll make some vegetables to go with it. Some of these frozen vegetables. I think that's how we're going to do it tonight. I don't have a dessert. And I think they're just going to do ice cream. Especially if strep throat is going to go. So the nervous part about that is we are a large family, as you know. And that means if strep throat hits one, and she says, give me a big cough, and he coughs right in my face to show her his cough. If it hits one, it's going to hit all, and we're all going to end up with it. So, there's very high possibility anyway, especially me and Charles, because he is in our face all the time. And I can't not kiss on him and cuddle him, so that's the way it goes. All right, I'm going to go set this out to rise, and... um. I have no idea what I'm gonna eat, so I'll just have to show you guys when I decide what I'm gonna eat later. I've been too busy to eat and tired to eat right now, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so Charles' lunch, this is all that was left of that barbecue chicken from last night, so I'm just putting that in a wrap, added some cheese, I'm gonna wrap that up, 
Then I made some of the peanut butter cookies that we made the dough the other day. Here is his Caesar salad meal kit that I'm just putting in here. He is going to the ENT. Ignore my coffee cup back there. <laughs> so he does not need a big lunch. Um, I gotta heat up his breakfast burrito yet real quick. Okay, and then I just heated up his breakfast burrito. So that is how it all looks. And then I love these containers because they just stack so neatly. And boom, his lunch is done. Okay, so here is Brook and Ash, but I need to put them um, still in the microwave and heat them up, so I'll show you that again, but I want to show you it open. Ash is having a leftover bean burger from last night with some cheese in her wrap, and Brooke has these um, Gardein chicken strips and some Swiss cheese, and I'm going to roll that up after I heat that up. And then they both have a pumpkin muffin and some veggies, applesauce with cinnamon, some more veggies, and then applesauce with cinnamon. And that's just unsweetened applesauce that I just sprinkled with some cinnamon. I still need to get their lids, but that is their ice waters. I am behind on the lids today, or this week. Okay, so there you have it. That is Brooke and Ash's lunch. All right, Ronnie is having just the cinnamon roll pancakes that we made on meal prep day. But she didn't want che cream cheese icing. Instead, she just wanted syrup. Okay, and this is Veronica's lunch. She has salad, and here is some salad dressing. She likes Thousand Island. These are just ham and cheese roll-ups. So she has that. Here is croutons for her salad, and here is her cookies. And she wanted another Danimals, and she has her water. And then she did not eat her goldfish yesterday, so I'm sending the tube of goldfish they're just in there with her today and that is it for running there's the baby boy not feeling good I'm gonna tell the friends what doesn't feel good on my baby he not talking and this friends I don't think the friends ever met that is Tommy Tommy has been stuffed over and over and over because that's Luke's best friend. And he is always with Luke when he doesn't feel good or sleeps. All right, guys, this is my lunch. I have some melted cheese in here along with my few oyster crackers and the leftover chili, or I guess I should say the rest of the chili that we had left over in the fridge. And now our bread dough is done. Once it's doubled in size, you're just gonna roll it out. I'm using a rolling pin. And then put a layer of cheese and then a layer of pepperoni. I use mozzarella cheese. And then you're gonna roll it up tightly, tucking everything under as you roll it, and then tuck the sides or the ends under. And that is it. Put it in your pan. You're gonna bake it in the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or until it is golden brown.
Hello everybody, there's Charles. I know I'm looking rough. I'm being beat, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. So Charles got home and he said that they're gonna do some allergy testing to try and see what is going on. So that's what happened at the ENT today. He's gonna go back again um, next week and get the allergy testing done. They said they really didn't think that it was a surgery type thing. So, good and bad news. So now we gotta figure out what in the world's going on. Then, this is what's going on here. End of year projects. So Ron has to make an animal cell di diagram. I am too tired to drive. <laughs> I'm just, and I'm not gonna sleep again tonight now that Luke's sick. So Charles is going to run her as soon as this dinner is done. And he is going to take her to get styrofoam balls and he is going to work on that with her um, tonight, probably a little bit, and then tomorrow. But I'm not going to get any of that on film because I need to get this up tonight right after dinner so I can go to bed. And um, tomorrow I will be at Brick's concert, so I will get her concert. She has her guitar concert tomorrow night. So that's what's going on with that. Um, Jake is not home yet. I don't know when he's going to get home. He should be done with his first day of work, so I'll probably update you on that tomorrow, unless he gets home before I'm done with dinner. I did not make the vegetables yet. Um, and I honestly don't even know that I'm going to. <laughs> they might just make a salad. I really am done at this point. Here is the bread, though, and I want you guys to see. It's all ooey, gooey, cheesy, pepperoni goodness. And then I will cut this open and let you see the inside. And then I also made some grape Kool-Aid here. I'm doing the grape Kool-Aid because Luke does not do medications, but he loves grape Kool-Aid. He calls it popsicle juice. And I have grape flavored Motrin. So I'm gonna try and sneak grape flavored Motrin into the grape Kool-Aid. And Charles is then picking up his antibiotics, which they didn't get until just now. So it's just now getting ready. So while they run and get the styrofoam balls, they're gonna pick up the antibiotics. Fingers crossed. And like I said, if you guys have any ideas, maybe he'll blow me away and he'll just take it. But I really think that's like winning the lottery. <laughs> I don't see it happening at all. And then over here I have noodles boiling for their spaghetti. I'm gonna throw some spinach in with that. And then our homemade sauce over here is heating up. That's it, that's what I got going on. Um, so let me just wrap this up real quick. Um, dinner, and I'm gonna cut this bread and show you guys what it looks like in the end. Okay, so this, woo, steaming hot, is what it looks like on the inside. Ooey gooey goodness. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. Are you killing ants? Mm, I'm not killing ants. Where we live, we get those itty bitty ants come in the house every spring. It doesn't matter what we do, they come, but he's trying to get them down a little bit so that they're not so bad. All right, but I'm gonna go on then and end this for tonight so I can go put this up because it is already 5.30 and then I am going to um, go to bed. <laughs> So I will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, everybody.